that's behind door number two. A second new car? Hmm? Whoa. Whoa! Uh... Hello? Whoa! Gotcha. There we go. Any more of you suckers? No. Oh. Oh! Pink ghost! And pink ghosts have 20 health, and uh, I believe they pack more of a wall up if they hit you. There's a ton of different ghost, uh, ghost types in this game, of course. And let's see if we can get, get both of these guys. Yes! Got them! Much harder than it looks to get two of them at once. And uh, I believe you can get up to, like, a ton at once. Like, you can get at least up to quadruples. It's very cool. Whoa! There we go. Simple as that. I keep pressing Y because I'm s like, like I haven't played this game in years, but I played Dark Moon in like the previous year, so I'm more used to Dark Moon. As I'm just in instinctively trying to press the button at the top of the controller to move the vacuum, but to no avail. Okay, nothing left in this room, so let's go. Yeah, one thing I really like about Luigi's Mansion One is that it's basically an open world game. Oh no! Damn it. Gotcha. Oh, see, like, even though I flashed both of them, you only have a split, tiny pyramid, a pyramid? Period of time that you can actually suck, suck them up. And, uh, this asshole can drop bananas, and take a while to guess what happens if you touch the bananas. Yeah, it, it fucks you up, basically, so don't do that. Uh, these guys are really annoying, especially since they have 40 health, which is a, a lot for the beginning of the game. At least for a, a regular ghost. Yeah, suck up that heart. Whoa! Get in my vacuum. Gotcha. And as you're sucking him up, he, uh, he will drop bananas. So you just gotta watch out. You can't really direct yourself that that well. Um, when you're uh, sucking up ghosts, you, you can a little bit, but not very much. And let's suck up that key, because our vacuum could, can suck up t giant metal, apparently. Oh, cool. Yeah, this game is very user-friendly when it comes to your map, because like it'll straight up just tell you where where keys are supposed to be used and everything. It's very handy. Anyway. Oh, really? That's weird. I could have sworn that there'd be something there. Anyway, uh, let's go in here. Oh, hey. What's up, Toad? Mario. I mean, Toad, not Mario. <laughs> wow, wow, Mario. Mario? Hey. <laughs> well, thanks. I can see clearly now. Uh, do you want to save our game? If there's anything, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just really like the, the it's like, Hey, hey, Toad. Hey. Well, if there's anything I can, I can do. I can save your game. Oh. Okay. You know. Thanks for the help, I guess. <laughs> I need to grow up. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna show you one of the uh, more interesting properties that mirrors can do. If you, damn it, if you point the Game Boy Horror at it and search it. Whoa! What the hell is going on? Whoa! You get warped to the lobby, to, uh, yeah, it's just very handy. And, uh, any mirror in the game can do this, so just keep in mind, if you ever want to see a mirror, it's basically a warp point. And it's a hidden warp point. I don't even know if the game tells you about it. I, mm, I take that back. I'm most likely one of the toads would tell you about it, but, yeah, it's cool. Whoa! Okay, let's go back down and get that. There's no run button, unfortunately, so... What you see is what you get as far as Luigi run speed is concerned. Okay, and we just take a look at our handy map. The key that we have goes into that door, so let's do it. Cool ringtone. What? Oh, you're kidding me. Uh-oh. They don't. 
Okay, search its heart. Egad has has quite literally found the key to anyone's heart, and it's a Game Boy Color. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, I don't really need to show you the door animations anymore. Oh, hey, the coin trail leads here. Sure. Let's go here. Ow! Should have saw that coming. Yeah, this game's an asshole and has trick doors all over the place, and thankfully there are ways you can tell if it's a trick door or not. Uh, mainly, uh, if your vacuum doesn't suck it up, like, sucking up this door, it shakes, so this door is real, but sucking up this door, it doesn't shake. Also, uh, damn it. Also, if you look on the map, there is no... Mm, if you look on the map, there is no door right here, so you can tell that it is fake, and this one is real. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go in here. Damn it! <laughs> I made an assumption. That assumption was wrong. Okay, well, no big deal. Let's just go in this one. Uh, I don't like that that chair is wrong. Whoa! Holy crap! What are you? I keep pressing the wrong button. Go ahead and try and find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Ho oh, oh. ho. Ow! Screw you, buddy! Hmm. Oh, let's stoke this fire a little bit. There you go! So yeah, basically each... Uh, this is the first portrait ghost. Uh, they all have names. I unfortunately don't know all of their names, but basically uh, each one of them is a puzzle on how you're supposed to expose their heart. Oh my god, I'm... First cycle? First cycle? Yeah! First cycle! Holy crap! Oh no, poison mushroom. Okay, good. It disappeared. Uh, yeah, getting first cycle on a portrait ghost, especially in the in a first file, uh, is quite difficult. I'm surprised I was able to do that, even for the first ghost. Like, it's it's harder than it looks. Trust me. But yeah, each um each portrait ghost is basically a puzzle, and uh, some of the uh, some of the solutions are a lot more obscure than others. But uh, yeah, it's it's cool because each each portrait ghost is a, a puzzle, and uh, that's something that uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 definitely does not have, unfortunately, is there really is no, there's no portrait ghost in Luigi's Mansion 2, so it's like, it's just, there's nothing. Anyway, uh, there's a block of cheese right here. An antique? <laughs> it's a block of cheese, Luigi! Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to point out that there's a block of cheese sitting there for some reason. Interesting. Mario. Mario. Uh, by the way, uh, f uh, a hallway or a room, uh, if it is dark, that means that there's ghosts there. Uh, if it is lit up, that means that it is ghost-free. So that's how you know if a room is completed or not. And I believe... Uh, here, let's go in here. I'm just going to quickly leave because I just want to see something on my map. Okay, yeah, so yellow rooms are completed, and uh, uh, lightish gray rooms have been visited but aren't completed, and just pitch black gray rooms are haven't been explored yet. So yeah, the map is, eh, like, it's excellent in this game. It's an excellent design map, so that's nice. What's in here? I'm probably going to resort from exploring until rooms are cleared, but, uh, yeah. Oh! Well, hello, miss. Oh. Yeah, they're a bit shy, so they don't want to look at us. I keep pressing the wrong button. I keep pressing Y to bring up first person. Oh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh. Hmm. Well, if your husband was, uh, you know, maybe, uh, if your husband was, um, I don't know, where, where am I going with this? <laughs> I don't know. We had to use fire to defeat your husband, so let's use the opposite of fire. Cold! Die! <laughs> Holy crap, that was a close one. She gives you a lot of time to suck her up. <laughs> uh, so much hurt. Um, wow, uh, the game is lagging, unfortunately. This is a, like, 2001 GameCube. No, poison mushroom! Ah! Uh, no, the poison mushroom didn't hit me. Um, 
But yeah, uh, some of the solutions, like, take a while. Like, unfortunately, like, this is basically a puzzle game, and it's a puzzle game I've already completed before, so, like, I know all the solutions already. Like, even though I pl haven't played this game in a long time, the solutions are still really memorable. So, uh, yeah. Here's our second portrait ghost done. Hmm. Another key. Uh, even though this game is an open world game, basically, with a giant explorable mansion, uh, it is extremely linear. Like, you're not pretty much allowed to explore. It's very linear, like, um, like, you need this key to go here, and this key to go there, and you can't just use any key on any door. Uh, but still, it's a lot more open than Luigi's Mansion 2, which decides to use a, a mission-based structure for its, uh, for its gameplay, and, uh, I'd be lying if I said I preferred that. Just, I just, I much prefer that Luigi Mansion 2 at least gives you an open mansion, even though it's very linear. But still, at least it's open, and it's not a mission-based thing. Uh, it, I don't know, just, just, just me. Actually, no, I take it back. I don't think that's just me. I think that everyone in the world definitely prefers this style of mansion than Luigi's Mansion 2 style of mansion. The only thing in Luigi Mansion 2 is that they had. They they were able to make each of the mansions like have more variety because this mansion is basically the same all the way through. But we are meant to the mansions are, have much more variety. Anyway, like I said, I'll try not to talk about Luigi's Mansion that uh, Luigi's Mansion Two Dark Moon that much. But when it's appropriate to bring up comparisons, I will. Okay. Anyway, right in here, uh, big pointer right here. There is a uh, fifty heart, I believe. That might be a hundred, or it might be fifty. It's a lot, though, and I believe that respawns whenever you leave the room. So if you ever need more health, then come back here, and you can get some very easily. Now, there is backtracking in this game, especially with uh, a certain collectible item of fifty that we will uh, have to be looking for soon. Anyway, hello, baby. Uh, oh, let's take a look deep into your heart. Your heart. <laughs> Wait, what, what was that line? Um... The evil seed of what you've done germinates within you. <laughs> okay, uh, so this is one of the more obvious, uh, obvious puzzles. Rocky Horsey, Rocky Horsey. <laughs> what kind of green donkey is that? Looks like fun. I want a wide! Mine! Mine! Oh god. Oh god, I knew this was how my life would end! Ball gets sucked! God damn it. Okay, and sure! Hit a kid in the head with a with a big ball. That's totally not abuse. Oh poor baby. Oh god, he has voodoo magic! Go go ga ga! Go go ga ga! Luigi's number one fear would be giant rocking horses. Whoa! Not so cute anymore! Oh, I take it back, you're so cute. He winked at me. <laughs> what? Okay, first boss, Chauncey! That's an awesome name for a, for a kid, by the way. <laughs> That's awesome, Chauncey. Any, uh, at, le at least I'm pretty sure it's Chauncey. Anyway, uh, this boss is pretty easy. Uh, and yeah, the this game is basically split up into four acts, and uh, uh, the first one is very, very, very short, because we're already at the boss. So basically you just do that, and then you suck him up like this. Ah. It is very hard to first cycle uh, bosses, uh, at least for, uh, at least for, uh, like, it, for the cy one cycling this boss is impossible. I believe it's possible to first cycle the second, uh, first cycle, by the way, means that you can just suck them up with one try. You don't need to, you, you don't lose, lose your chain and have to, like, retry and suck them up, but... Uh, yeah, I believe with this boss it's impossible. I think the only boss in the game that you can actually do it with is, uh, is the uh, second boss. And I, I guess the, th the third boss, technically. The third boss works a little bit differently than the other bosses, so it's hard to explain. 
But anyway, we're on the first boss right now, and uh, it's kind of hard to suck him up. I'm trying to get used to, like, the inverted C-stick. Okay, just one more shot should do him in. This reminds me of the uh, the Koopa Clown car in uh, in Super Mario World, when it bounces up and down on the ground. I'm totally sure... I'm, that, that's definitely what Nintendo was going for. Screw you! Oh my god, that was fast! Holy crap! Screw you! More bouncy balls. And... There it is. The one that bounces on the ground and just stays there is the one, obviously. There we go! And... You are mine, Chauncey! Yeah. A big chest! Oh, uh, wait, did the heart respond? It did! Sweet! Okay, uh, let's just quickly check to see if there's anything uh, we can hump. Hump the baby's crib, because that's not creepy at all, Luigi. God damn it, <laughs> why are you here? Okay, nothing, so let's just get the big key. Awesome. And that's actually it for the uh, first act of the game. Sure. Well, thank you. Twenty years! Holy crap! The ghost portrification analyzer! Por Portrification... Portrificationizer. I was right the first time. Oh, it works in reverse. That's interesting. Why would we want to do that, though? Hmm. This is basically when you just get to relax and just take a look at all the ghosts that you managed to suck up. What he had was running like Sonic! <laughs> Gotta go fast! Oh, that's great. I never noticed that before. And there's paintings. We got Chauncey. Uh, Husbando. <laughs> and Waifu. <laughs> Once again, all the ghosts have names, it's just I don't remember most of them, so I, I apologize. Anyway, Neville. Lydia and Chauncey! It's a cute family. And uh, yeah, that's another cool thing is basically the portraits, like basically this mansion is just like a lot of people lived in it and it's just one big family and it's just really cool like seeing seeing like these characters and then seeing like, I don't know, the butler we'll be seeing later, like stuff like that. It's just like, it's really cool. There's a lot of cool design that went into the, the mini boss and bosses. Uh, design that is sorely missed in in the sequel, unfortunately. Oh, lots of gold. Like <laughs> Luigi, that's a ton of gold. Unless that isn't a lot of gold in uh, in um in in Mushroom Kingdom dollars, but it's gold. So like, and it's dollar bills. And I believe this is Luigi's Mansion One or Two are the only games in the Mario series that actually have dollar bills. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, sure, let's go to the gallery. And, uh, let's just look at our, uh, portraits. So, there's Neville. Uh, where is Lydia? I don't see Lydia. I'm not sure how they decide the order of... of the, of the ghosts. Uh, there's Lydia. And here's Chauncey. Oh, hey, that's weird. One, two, and Chauncey is is three, is four. I mean, um, that's interesting. I think I know who three is, but that's that's a strange way of ordering it. Uh, anyway, that's actually going to do it for this session of Luigi's Mansion. I know it was very short, but the the next the next f three chapters are much longer, especially three and four. Three and four are quite long. 
Uh, this is a shorter game, though, but still. Uh, this is, like, Chapter 2 is, like, at least double the length of this, so don't worry. But, for now, I hope you've been enjoying this spooky game. And this has been uh, Spook or 4590, and I will see you guys next time.